Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine. It's Commander Valet and this is another Chelsea translated video for you guys where I speak about all the latest news around in Chelsea in the past 24 hours. Some big developments, big news stories regarding Kai Havertz, an update on him uh, by, of course, Dean Jones, who writes for the Bleacher Report, and Fabrizio Romano, big update on Kai Havertz. And we speak about Declan Rice and also uh, Benjamin Chua, some big news on the left-back situation and how a fee of £45 million could be agreed with Ben Chua, written by Nizar said, and a bit of stuff from other news outlets, of course. And I want to finish off with William, how his imminent move to Arsenal is looking good and how he will be moving to Arsenal at the end of this month. But before I do get into all of that, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me on social media, Instagram, link in the description, comment down below your thoughts, which in the comment section below on each news story that I do speak about. But without further ado, let's get straight into today's news study video. Now, starting off with Kai Havertz, the big story, Kai Havertz is imminent. It's so close to being done, you can even touch it. It's so close, you know. Don't panic, bear with it, he's happening. Deals like these take a bit of time. You know, I stressed this months ago when we linked to him. If a deal were ever to materialise for Kai Havertz, which is going to happen, it would take months and weeks because it's a mega deal. It's going to be the biggest, uh, you know, signing in our history when it comes to finances. Our most expensive signing in our history. It takes time. Negotiations, uh, agreeing a fee, uh, you know, documents, paperwork, medicals, ag agreeing personal terms and stuff. It takes time. Now, what's interesting is what Fabrizio Romano said, of course, here we go, Merchant, the most reliable news reporter on social media. And he was on a podcast. He was on a podcast. And I'm going to summarise what he said on the podcast regarding Kai Havertz's situation. All he said was, in his words, Havertz is trying to join Chelsea. The price of Chelsea are going to offer Leverkusen is 80 million euros. Also, with similar to the Sancho deal of bonuses and instalments. As Leverkusen are in Europe, the deal needs time. I think it's possible in the next week. So next week's meaning, you know, two to three weeks time. Hopefully... As I record this video today, 6th of August, hopefully by the end of August, before easily before the start of the season, but by the end of this month, Kai Havertz should be wearing a blue shirt. Hopefully it will be done, um, like I said, because the only problem is, is the price gap valuation. Purse terms are done, documents, paperwork are done, agent fees have been agreed, the photography, the marketing, everything has been done. Everything is ready. He's trying to push for Chelsea. He's already stressed that he wants to leave Bay Leverkusen. So Leverkusen are in a weak negotiation position. And he's desperate to move to Chelsea. And he will force a move if he has to. But that is a last resort. Leverkusen want, as we know, 90 million euros for his signature. Whereas Chelsea only willing to offer 75 and max 80 million. But I think we will agree 80 million pounds with, you know, some bonuses, some instalments added on top of that. If Havertz performs at the required level, we will obviously, he will obviously trigger and activate those bonuses and those bonuses will pay Leverkusen at a later date. But hopefully including add-ons and, you know, bonuses, a deal should come around 80 million euros, making, it, making him our most expensive ever signing in uh, Chelsea Football Club's history. And of course, a marquee, marquee, world-class, generational talent, elite talent, but it's going to happen. Now, obviously, there are a few stumbling blocks as well, which I'll be getting to what Dean Jones reported for the Bleacher Report. And he said, there is an expectation that Kai Havertz will join Chelsea as soon as Bay Leverkusen's UEFA Europa League campaign is over. Now, tonight, as I record this tonight, Leverkusen are playing against Rangers um, in their round of 16 um, uh, Europa League campaign. And Havertz will be playing. So if you guys want to go watch Havertz, he will be playing this evening. So go and check him out. Uh, Leverkusen are 3-1 up from the first leg. Um, and of course... What we need is, if Leverkusen finish Europa League campaign even earlier, then that does mean that Kai Havertz will be moving to us a lot sooner because, as Gene Jones has reported, we need to wait until Leverkusen finish their campaign. But we also need to pray that Havertz does not pick up an injury because any type of injury could scupper a potential move for Kai Havertz and it could completely ruin the deal. So we need to hope that he doesn't pick up an injury, but it will be exciting to watch in this evening. So hopefully really, really good news on that front. But like I said, we have to wait until the UEFA Europa League campaign is over for Leverkusen. So let's see how they get on. But moving on, moving on to the next report, and that is regarding William. Now, it has been reported by, once again, Fabrizio Romano and various other journalists writing for the ESPN Tom Hamilton and they reported that William has agreed a three-year contract at Arsenal worth around £100,000 a week with the move expected to be announced later this month so hopefully end of this month his agents are in talks Kia Jorbachan in talks with Arsenal regarding you know agreeing a fee um, we know the situation as well um, Matt Law who obviously writes Telegraph credit to Chelsea has reported Arsenal closing on deals for both Coutinho and William, which I think is quite good in my opinion and William will definitely be an Arsenal player you know there was a contract negotiation breakdown with Chelsea. Chelsea were only offering two years. He wanted three years as his agent. And so Arsenal were offering what he wants regarding you know, finances, demands, contract length. And also he's happy because he gets to stay in London. He's got a restaurant in London. His family settled in London. And he would like to move it to Arsenal. You know, his best mate is David Luiz. 
everything makes sense for him to go to Arsenal. And of course, Arsenal get a great player regarding squad depth. So I think that it's a good move for all parties. We get to offload him off our wage bill and we get to you know sign a replacement such as hopefully a side Ben Rahman and it frees up space and experience for like the Calamon Sador to breed through into the squads. But it's looking like the Willian is going to Arsenal. So I wish him all the best. As I said in my other video, we need to respect what we've done for this club. Give him some respect. You know, he's been here for seven years, won six trophies, given a fantastic, phenomenal moments and performances. And yes, he has been frustrating a lot of the time, but I have to give my respect to him. Thank you, Willian. You have been a great serve and enjoy your retirement at Arsenal. As we know, at Arsenal, the banter club, the retirement club, David Luiz, Petr Cech, and now Willian. So it's all good, but highly likely that Willian will be moving to Arsenal. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. But let's move on to the left-back situation. Now, this is really, really interesting because... Obviously, there are many reports, but it has been broken by Nizar Kintella, and this is his exclusive on Ben Chilwell. He's saying Chilwell is 100% the main left-back target. No movements on other targets at all. Chilwell wants to move, and it will help Chelsea if he says he wants to move. Now, Chilwell, he's desperate to go to Chelsea. He's going to you know, potentially hand in a transfer request. He wants to work under Lampard. He's desperate to move to Chelsea, and we know Lampard is adamant that he wants Chilwell with Chelsea as his first left-back choice. Now, what is interesting is, as we know, Leicester wanted £80 million pounds according to Matt Law. Now, what's interesting is they could their talks are progressing now. If you look at what Football Insider reported, Football Insider broke that there has been a massive breakthrough in negotiations regarding Chilwell. Leicester have dropped their asking price completely from £80 million pounds to potentially £40 to £50 million. Pounds. And that is fantastic news because that is exactly the valuation Chelsea really wanted to pay between £40 and £50 million. Pounds. And Chilwell could sign and agree a deal for £45 million pounds so that is massive news for me i think that's a perfect price you know he's 23 very high ceiling great engine room fantastic going forward great defensively and has a you know world-class potential and is the left back the lampard wants which suits his system for 45 million pounds i think is a fantastic piece of business but what's interesting further is what fabricio romano reported and he said the Sergio Regulon is not, in fact, just been offered, but he is on Chelsea's shortlist because, of course, his price, his age, his experience, him being so talented. But what's really interesting on top of that is we could sign both potentially Ben Chilwell and uh, Sergio Regulon because both Emerson and Alonso could be leaving this summer. Now, we know Emerson has attracted a lot of interest from Italy and so has Marcus Alonso. And both of them could leave, leaving space for two left backs to be signed. And with Regulon's price being so attractive at £20 million, Chelsea could sign both Ben Chilwell and Sergio Regulon for the left back position, which is massive news in my opinion. Huge news. I'm very excited for this. I rate Sergio Regulon so, so highly. He was voted the best left back in La Liga last season. His attributes both Chilwell and Regulon, 23 years of age. And for a combined fee of £65 million to finish and sort out our left back situation for the next decade, for me, it's a no brainer. It has to be done. But what do you guys think? Would you be very excited to see Ben Chilwell? Looking like Ben Chilwell will be signing for Chelsea at a deal between 45 and 50 million pounds. And also your thoughts on Regulon potentially being signed on top of him as well. Leave me your thoughts please, in the comment section below. But getting into the final story, and that does regard Declan Rice again, written by Nizar Kintella in that article of Gold.com. And he's saying that Rice is a massive key target for Chelsea, not only for Lampard, but also the Chelsea boardroom staff and hierarchy. It's getting increasingly positive. He's got a lot of love for Chelsea. Maybe this could happen later in the window. Of course, we need, we need to address other positions. Havertz needs to get done. He's the club's top priority at this moment in time. This left back situation is the next priority. That is Chilwell, whether that is Chilwell or Regul on the both. And, of course, we need to then address the goalkeeper situation. But there is, you know, we've got plenty of time on the transfer window left. Roman is very ambitious this window. We want to challenge. We want to compete for major honours next year. And we want to get all of our targets done. That does include Havertz, left-back, goalkeeper, centre-back and midfield position. Of course, that does all depend on player sales as well. But there is a positive energy, positive vibe around the club that Declan Rice could be signed for Chelsea. He's open to signing for Chelsea. He's already spoken to Frank Lampard. He's agreed personal terms. He's just agreeing a fee for West Ham because West Ham want a lot of money for him, but they're not in the best financial situation. So it could make the deal a lot easier for us to sign him. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one, but make sure you stay tuned on that one. All the latest news will be broken on this channel, so make sure you stay tuned. Smash the like button if you did enjoy this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not here. Hit the bell notification and comment down below. Your thoughts will be in the comment section below. But without further ado, I'll be leaving you guys. See you guys for my next video. Peace.